look at Hurricane Iota because it is not looking good for Central America. Something that NBC6 meteorologist Angie Lasman has been tracking. She told you about this at noon. The Category 5 hurricane is packing 160 mile per hour winds. And uh, look at Nicaragua because it is a country that has been battered by Tropical Storm Ada, and that was just two weeks ago. And now they are stepping up evacuations from islands and coastal areas. Ayurveda is the record 30th named storm of this year's extremely busy Atlantic hurricane season. And by the way, it is November the 16th. That's amazing. I can't believe that. I mean, while uh, this is a live look here at our backyard, this is a live look at Fort Lauderdale. On this Monday, uh, we did wake up to some cooler temperatures. You might have noticed that as you were heading out on this Monday. Yeah, let's check in with Angie to find out what's going on. Locally, guys, great conditions. We have a cold front that's headed our way, so we'll get another little dip in humidity and heat, uh, and even some rain chances adding into that. But we've got to focus on what's going on and what's unfolding for folks in Central America right now. Really devastating conditions as uh, IOTA makes uh, a nearing approach to to folks in Nicaragua. That's where we're going to see a landfall overnight. Tonight, those winds, as Shelly said, 160 miles per hour at this hour and is moving west at nine miles per hour. This is the same area that was devastated just a couple of weeks ago by Ada. You can see it does make a landfall here into the overnight hours, maintaining category three strength through about 12 more hours. Uh, and then as we get into Tuesday, it becomes a tropical storm. Eventually, it will dissipate here as we get into Wednesday. But between now and then, the impacts will be far reaching and they will be intense. Uh, Life threatening storms. Storm surge up to uh, 10, 15 feet, possibly uh, 20 to 30 inches of rain possible. Uh, the flooding that we already saw from Ada, we're likely going to see repeat images coming out of that same exact area uh, as they deal with those impacts. And just to put it into perspective, let's look at the track of where Ada went and where Iota is supposed to go. If we zoom right in, you can see just how close we're talking about a Category 4 hurricane making landfall two weeks ago and then a Category 5. Five hurricane making landfall almost in exactly the same spot, and even still, those winds are far reaching. Where that eye comes on shore, uh, the wind, the hurricane force winds extend up to 45 miles out, and we're talking about 175 mile tropical storm force winds extending from the center. So, a dire situation there. We'll have to continue to monitor that as landfall is expected overnight tonight.